Well, this is going to turn out to be something, isn't it? Dear God. Woo! I'm going to admit, this might be one of my stupider ideas. The speed limit on this road is 40, but uh, no one goes that. So I'm doing 50 Vespa miles, which I'm not going to get into. We all know that the speed speedometer is not exactly accurate. My point here is, um, this was dumb, and I should have stayed home. But I'm out, I'm in it, I'm half, I'm not halfway there. I'm a quarter of the way there. Hello. And uh, I'm going to go for it. It's, um, I don't know, probably about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Sunset's about 6.30, something like that, so... I should be pulling in there about in about 45 minutes, at which point I will, uh, you know, put up the tent, see what's going on, um, probably cry a little bit, like a little baby, because I'm cold and I'm lonely and there's a freaking bear looking at me. But if that doesn't happen, I'm going to crawl in my sleeping bag nice and early tonight and uh, see what happens. Am I seriously stuck in traffic right now? This is not awesome. All right, we're about to get off the main road there and get onto some smaller roads. I don't know if that's gonna be the scariest part of the trip or not, because uh, I don't know what these little roads are gonna hold for me as far as leaves and gravel. I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out, eh? Do I still have all my shit? I hope I still have all my shit. Oh, this is going to be the worst video ever. I thought the last one was bad. Let me tell you what i got going on. First of all, I've got about 16 layers of clothes on. I've got socks that are so high, they're basically up to my nipples. i got nipple socks, people. I've got long underwear on, and then I've got these climb riding pants, which are like bulletproof things. Um, and they're pretty cold-proof, too, I have to say. Uh, I have a whole video about them. I made a video about pants. Yeah, I did. I got this silly fluorescent riding jacket uh, that I only wear when I know that I'm uh, going into interesting situations. Uh, riding at dusk or whatever, I don't know if I, have to, if I have to roll out of there at midnight or something because there's, you know, sharks. Yeah, there's sharks. So I got that, and I got a snood. I don't know if you can see my snood. It's actually my wife's snood, but it's, I borrowed a snood. Keep me, keep me nice and... Uh, warm like right in the toroidal area that's my medical term my big plan when i get there if i get there is i'm gonna park the old vespa i'm gonna get my tent out which is right behind me uh strapped to the seat i'm gonna put the tent up and then i'm gonna make a fire i'm gonna eat a sandwich and i'm gonna go to bed relatively early downloaded a couple of videos onto my phone i've got a book i've got no cell service Oh, okay, you go. This is the little windy road to Oxbow Park. And as you can see, it's a little leafy. It's a little wet. I think it's going to be all right. The main thing I'm concerned about right now would be some kind of asshole deer jumping out in front of me. Last time I was down here, I saw quite a few deer just kind of milling about. And so, um, I mean, you know, I'm gonna take it easy here and not hit any deer because I respect the wildlife, you know what I'm saying? They've never done anything to me. I'm not just gonna go hit them. They don't know any better. I don't know any better, obviously. My, my freaking glasses are fogging up. It's not even my visor, I don't think. I think it's my glasses. I, oh. The thing about taking my glasses off is when I take them off, I feel like I'm 20 feet tall. Do you ever get that? That's the way it Let me know in the comments if that's a thing, because it's a thing for me. I take my glasses off. I feel like I feel like I'm sitting on a telephone pole or something. Everything just I just feel very high up. Oh dear God, this road. Okay, all right, let's calm down a little bit. Oh, look at this road. All right then. Okay, I should have stayed home. Why didn't I stay home? Okay. All right. I need to be able to see. All right, 15 miles an hour. Speed checked by radar. Yeah, I'm sure that there's a cop out here. This is all wet leaves. It might as well just be ice. Oh, dear God. All right. Why is everything wet? 
Yes, I know. I know. I understand how that happens. You don't have to explain to me. Explain to me in the comments how rain happens. I don't have to pay a parking fee because I'm camping. I'm camping, people. Okay. All right, now. See, this is where it gets really super dicey. You know, it might not look like much on camera, but um, I can... I can guarantee you this is not the most traction I've ever had. I've had more traction than this, I'm almost certain. I mean, it's not actually, I haven't actually slipped that I know of. My traction control hasn't kicked in. I just don't want to be going around a corner and uh, lose my concentration and end up in the friggin' river over there. I'm not trying to be a hero here, people. I'm not trying to be a hero. It's a beautiful view. Look at the leaves. Look at how beautiful it is out here. Everything's starting to turn. Or has turned, or I don't know. I'm trying to turn and not slip. All right, we have arrived. Wait, have we? Wow, this was so super dumb. I can't believe I did this. Campsite number five. Who's it reserved for? Okay, I made it. I think everything's still here. I can't believe it, but it's true. I'm looking at it. Let's go camping. Oh, wait, we're already camping. Let's start camping. What the hell am I doing out here? I'm freezing. It's wet. I don't know. I forgot to bring toilet paper, so hopefully there's something here. I'm not sure I have words to accurately describe how little I needed to see this, but here it is. Yeah, I kind of forgot about kindling and stuff like that. So, oh, balls. I'm trying to make a little feather stick here, but everything's a little wet. I'm a little irritated. This knife isn't the right one for this job. That's garbage. That's fucking garbage is what that is. Garbage. Garbage. Balls. You ready for this disaster? I'm gonna try to make my fire now. I got a little uh, kindling, as you saw there. This is my tried and true method, right? Mm -hmm. You've probably heard that before, but this is for real people. Cotton balls. Tampons are better if you can find them, but I just don't happen to have any tampons on me right now. A little bit of grease. Get that stuff greased up. Stuff is magic. Oh, that's a good one. You know what I didn't bring with me? Any paper towels or anything like that. F M L. Yes, I know. I know. This is a freaking mess. I get it. I'm not good at things. All right. Oh yeah, just get that in there. It's a moisturizer, you know. So you gotta get it right in there. Don't be afraid of it. I'm afraid of it to be honest. Put that right in the fire. And then uh, we're gonna put some kindling on top of it. You'll probably be as shocked as I am if that actually catches. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, baby.
I'd be shocked if this actually turned into a fire, but we'll see. I can see my breath now. It's great. All right, it's 6.30, and I'm not going to lie to you. This fire isn't looking all that awesome. It may look all right right now, but it's totally powered by Vaseline and cotton balls. Kind of like me. <sighs> this isn't going great. Uh, this fire's not working out. Uh, smoky. Um, yeah, this is... This is something, I gotta be honest. Uh, it's getting real cold and I've got no fire. This firewood is so wet that it just won't catch even if I cut it up into little slivers and, uh, I don't know, it's like 7.15. It's pitch dark. Good times. All right, here's the situation. I'm cold, I can't get a fire going. I can't leave because it's too dark and they closed the gates and there's leaves all over the place and I've got a tinted visor on my helmet. And uh, I'm cold, but you know what? I'm alive, I'm here, I'm happy. Sort of, bears haven't attacked me yet, so I'm gonna stick with it and go to sleep soon maybe. I don't know, make a YouTube video. Anyway, I'll be here if you're looking for me. What's that? All right, I got updates. Here's what's going on. I've got a fire going, and uh, it's not a rager, but it's firing, I don't know. Um, it took me about three hours to just get to this point. I've cut kindling, I've used, I ripped up a book to use as, fucking, I don't know, I'm burning books now. That's what my life has come to. But uh, you know what, I got a fire. I got a Vespa over there, I don't know if you can see it. And um, life isn't so bad, you know? You know what I'm saying? This scooter life is working out. If I don't get mauled by a f bear tonight, I don't know, they got a, like a full moon popping through the trees over there. I've got half a book to read. <laughs> I've got a new wireless lav to play with. I've got lights, cameras. I've got no action. I don't think that means what I think it means. Wanna go look at the Vespa? Let's go look at the Vespa. She did good today on this trip and she got rewarded with her own little book. She's got a book. That's what her, yeah. <sighs> okay. So based on my vast experience of um, six hours uh, Vespa camping, let me, uh, let me give you some advice on some do's and don'ts of uh, camping with your scooter. Um, here's a don't. Don't take electronics with you. Tip number one, when you're packing the old scooter, make sure you keep the weight as low as possible. If you put the weight up high, you're gonna get some wobbles. You're gonna get some weirdness. I noticed that today when I was driving, doing about 50, um, things started getting a little weird. And I realized it was because I had a lot of weight on my top rack in the back and on top of my seat. I also had a backpack on, but that's a whole different story. Tip number two, don't wear a backpack. That's just uncomfortable. And if you crash, you're gonna hurt yourself. I had mine filled with clothes, so I wasn't really in too much danger, but just keep that in mind. If you crash and you start rolling over on the ground, you got like metal and shit in your backpack, you're gonna have a bad day, like a real bad day. You know what that. Another tip is if you're camping in the fall, um, you gotta take into account that those roads might be a little slippery with wet leaves and stuff like that. Here's another tip that you might enjoy. And don't ask me how I know this, but make sure you bring enough um, fire start and stuff. Because um, if you're used to camping in the summer, a fire is kind of nice to have. But in the fall, in the winter, it's kind of like necessary. Um, you know, you want the heat. I came a little underprepared, which is not unusual for me. Um, I brought my fire kit, but I kind of neglected to look at the fire kit before I brought it and realized I didn't have a whole lot in there. Um, I also had some wet firewood, and um, that was difficult. Another tip, it's probably obvious, but if you're uh, doing this alone, or even if you're not, um, 
You may want to bring some sort of protection. I have bear spray um, because in these parts, uh, as you saw, there's there are some bears kicking around. I've never seen one around here, but um, I don't want to. And if I do, I want to have this. And I also have my knife if I need to stab a cougar. I'm not gonna do that. All these f***ing planes. Haha, <laughs> I did it. Fire! Fire! Anyway, I'm gonna um, finish up this fire and uh, tuck myself in because I'm getting a little tired and I'm dying for my sleeping bag. Uh, so I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, it's time for bed, alright. Oh, yes, it is. Off we go. Anyway, that caps off a full day of scooting and camping and failing at fires and all that stuff. So I'm going to sleep. If you're enjoying this video, like and subscribe. Well, we lived. We lived for another day. I'm uh, just packing my stuff up and I'm gonna head out. Pine needles are falling everywhere and uh, I can't feel my fingers. I know they're there, I just can't feel them because it's like 34 degrees right now. But that's all right. We'll uh, get packed up and get on the road. Well, here's another tip for you all. Take a helmet cover with you because uh, my helmet is a soggy, cold mess right now. And I hate it. I hate it. Mm. It started. We got that going for us. Well, that concludes my first solo camping adventure on the Vespa. And for the most part, I would say it was uh, not a disaster. It took me a long time to get that damn fire going. And... Uh, I was down to my last piece of uh, fire making stuff, to be honest, and um, it would have been a pretty long night if I hadn't gotten that going, but I got it going. Yeah. Oh yeah. Slippage. Slippage, people. Slippage on the front wheel. Back wheel seems to be holding up. Slippage on the front wheel, though. Oh god. My throttle is stuck. Whoa. That's interesting. My throttle stuck open. It's like cruise control. It's all just very slippery. I know it doesn't look like it, but it really is. Hit me up in the comments if you've had issues with your throttle sticking open. What I did last night was I kind of just hung my helmet from the handlebar on that side, on the throttle side, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing that maybe uh, have caused some issues. And hopefully they're just temporary. Maybe it's just because it's cold, I don't know. So scooter camping. I highly recommend scooter camping. Um. This might be my last adventure for the year, because uh, it is cold. It is windy, too. I'm getting blown around a little bit. So much going on in this world right now that sometimes it's just nice to pack it up and go away for a night. Next time I do it, I'm not going to take a radio, because I don't really need to know what's going on in the world. I can go one night without being informed. The loss of feeling is now going into my hands, I, I'm sad to report. Did I mention heated gloves? I'm putting those right on the list when I get home. I'm gonna, if I had, if I could say like, hey, Alexa, buy me heated gloves right now, I would. One thing I will say for the old Vespa here, uh, it's gotten me out uh, into the world to do things I wouldn't normally do. I definitely wouldn't have gone camping last night if I didn't have the Vespa because uh, it probably wouldn't have even occurred to me to just pack up on a Thursday night and go camping. But with the Vespa, you know, it's a little bit of a challenge. I said. I want to challenge myself. I want to do something. Something a little out of the ordinary. And that's one of the things that this thing has gotten me to do. I've gone on group rides with people. And I wouldn't normally, you know, just thrust myself into a social situation like that. Because I get a little bit of the uh, social anxiety, I think. Yeah. So, you know, camping, scooter clubs. I've gone on long rides by myself just to sort of clear my head. And I've gone to places that I wouldn't normally, you know, go to. Just just on a normal day but you know having the Vespa makes it sort of a little bit of a, an adventure um, but I really dig that go straight what am I doing here I can't feel my fingers can't feel my fingers 
I wish I could feel my fingers, fingers, fingers. I am not turning left, Google. You're not my real mom. You can't tell me what to do. This is the last stretch home. So if I don't see you, uh, thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks for going camping with me. I will catch you on the next one. And, uh, you know, if you're bored, check out one of these other videos up here.